1. Manchester United, 3. Notts County, 3. Norwich, 0. Ipswich, 0. Southampton, 1. Watford, 0. Sunderland, 3. West Brom, 0. Wolves, 3. Everton, 0. Division 2. Brighton, 1. Fulham, 1. Carlisle, 3. Newcastle, 1. Charlton, 1. Crystal Palace, 0. Chelsea, 2. Portsmouth, 2. Derby, 2. Cardiff, 3. Huddersfield, 1. Manchester City, 3. Oldham, 3. Leeds, 2. Sheffield Wednesday, 0. Middlesbrough, 2. Swansea, 0. Shrewsbury, 2. Division 3. Bolton, 1. Oxford, 0. Bradford City, 6. Wigan, 2. Bristol Rovers against Gilliam is an evening match. Exeter, 1. Brentford, 2. Newport, 2. Plymouth, 0. Orient, 2. Bournemouth, 0. Port Vale, 2. Sheffield United, 0. Rotherham, 0. Hull, 1. Scunthorpe, 1. Preston, 5. South End, 2. Lincoln, 0. Walsall, 1. Burnley, 1. Wimbledon, 4. Millwall, 3. Division, 4. Blackpool, 1. Hartlepool, 0. Chester, 0. Mansfield, 4. Chesterfield, 1. Bury, 5. Colchester, 4. Aldershot, 1. Darlington, 1. Doncaster, 2. Northampton, 2. Peterborough, 1. Reading, 2. Torquay, 2. Rochdale, 1. Halifax, 1. The Stockport against Hereford matches an evening kickoff. Swindon, 0. Wrexham, 1. York, 1. Tranmere, 1. The Scottish Premier Division, Celtic, 1. Dundee United, 1. Dundee, 0. St Johnston, 1. Hibernian, 0. Rangers, 2. And finally, Division 1. Adri 1, Meadowbank 2. And there were two extraordinary comebacks in the first division. Liverpool, two down at home to lowly Leicester, needed goals by Sammy Lee and Ian Rush to salvage a 2-2 draw, leaving them on top. Manchester United 3-1 up against Notts County looked to have the game won, but Justin Fashionu put two past them in the second half to stop United going ahead of Liverpool, who still lead the table by three points. Behind those two, Southampton won to go third, and West Ham beat Luton, pushing them into fifth place. Elsewhere in the first division, Charlie Nicholas's happy Christmas continued. He scored his first goal at Highbury after 1,157 playing minutes with the club, but it took a penalty to do it. In the second division, Chelsea could have gone top if Kerry Dixon hadn't had a disastrous day. Dixon scored one goal against Portsmouth, then missed two penalties and gave away a third as his team were held to a 2-2 draw. It left Sheffield Wednesday two points clear despite their second defeat in two days. Manchester City beat Huddersfield to overtake Newcastle, who lost at Carlisle. Well, Ian Botham played again for Scunthorpe United and once more against the wishes of the cricket bosses. Tonight, though, he must be wishing he hadn't bothered. Botham was booked. He gave away his first goal as his team were, thr were thrashed 5-1 by Preston North End. That's the news so far tonight. Our late news is at a quarter to nine. See you then. And now look at the weather forecast for the next 24 hours for the northeast of England and North Yorkshire. The southwest to west winds will continue to reach gale force in places tonight and then east tomorrow. It's going to stay mild during the coming 24 hours, but mostly cloudy. Occasional rain will spread across the region overnight, more persistent rain returning later tomorrow. Temperatures, they're staying between 11 centigrade, that's 52 Fahrenheit at lowest, and 14 degrees centigrade, 57 Fahrenheit at best. And the wind, that's in the willows in a few moments. <laughs>